the most spectacular and scenic venue in all of college football and perhaps in all of sports. The Rose Bowl in Pasadena, also home to the UCLA Bruins. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see, the number 25 team in the country, the USC Trojans, taking on another team from the Big Ten, the UCLA Bruins. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. And the Trojans will kick it away to start. Looks as if the returner will try and field this one. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So UCLA's offense will get the first swing of the game. The battle for Los Angeles, two spectacular uniforms, awesome backdrop, and the battle for the victory bell, guys. I was going to say, Reese, aesthetically, this is one of my favorite games of the year. I love when both schools wear their home goonies, and they're traditional. They haven't changed very much over the years. This game's just fun to watch in every sense of the word. Fun for the fans, too, because they don't have to go anywhere. And you know what else is always cool? You tune to this game late in the season, what do you get? Great weather, too. I mean, it's really, it makes me jealous us every year watching this football the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down the Bruins will punt this one away they'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon he was working his way toward midfield but they'll stop him at the 46 yard line the Trojans offense will try to get something going with their first possession you know, yards figure to be hard to come by through the air, but some quarterbacks, Jesse, just love to go at the star corner. Yeah, and this guy's got confidence. He's not afraid to go at anybody, but he better be careful because this cornerback is one of the best in the nation. One of the best, no doubt. And I think they will trust him on defense to make plays. So you got to make a decision. Is my guy good enough to beat him on the outside? I am fascinated by this matchup. This crowd bringing the energy and noise on third and short, they'll go to the power running game. That'll be enough for the first down as they stop him at the 43-yard line. The Trojans come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Off play action on first down. He'll take a shot. And he's got it! Touchdown, Southern Cal! And it feels good to land that first big punch against a rival, doesn't it? No doubt. In a game like this, too, you just want to be executing it at a high level early. So, David, that's got to feel great getting on the board first. And settles everyone down. All the nerves, all the emotion of this rivalry game. Now everybody can kind of settle in because you know you already got a touchdown on the board. Thing to start this one. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they close the deal from 43 yards out with a touchdown pass. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by him, and they stop him at the 21. UCLA will go back to work on offense. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board. And the Bruins will hustle for the line. He'll do it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. The Bruins will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Looking for a block. It's Branch. He's got great speed. He did a great job finding some running room on that return and was able to set up the offense with good field position. He wants to throw. He's got the tight end. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. After the short completion, let's see if they the air. On the run, it's O'Neal. 
and a decent gain there before the defense makes the stop. Now on third down for this offense. They'll try to get it through the air. Quickly complete. He gets the job done on third down. They move the chains. It's at the 37. They're going back to the ground. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Out of the gun. The running back has it. They get him on the ground at the 33, but not before he picks up six. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. They go to the draw. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. The offense stays on the field. They just have inches to go on fourth down. They'll try it on the ground. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. No hesitation on that call and no reason not to go for it on fourth and inches. We're bigger than you. They'll throw it from the red zone. Looking for his man. Can't make the grab quarterback. Just missed him a little bit. So after reviewing the undisputable video evidence, the replay booth has decided to overturn the call. With the run on first and goal. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. Second and goal coming up. Tries again to get it in. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. You can't hear yourself think on third and goal. Powers forward. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, USC. And I love the physicality of this offense. It's third and goal. It's money time. I've got to be more physical than you. And that's exactly what this offense just did. Put the ball on the ground and put it in the end zone. Move the ball 35 yards and finish the deal with the short. Slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. And the Bruins want to pick up the tempo. They'll throw it on first down. And they're not on the same page there. And here comes the offense on second down. Looking to throw, it's Garbers. Safe completion on the screen. And that defense pushing him out of bounds after a short game. A third and long coming up here. He'll just keep slinging it. Moves around to clear up the vision. Trying to make magic on the scramble. So important to convert these third downs, and they get it done. They'll have it at the 42. Well, he does a really nice job buying time, and I love the awareness there, understanding know where the sticks are and he's able to use his athleticism to get that first down almost had the completion just missed it after the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up they'll try it again on second down off play action 
The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Fires deep on the run. And trying to put points on the board on third down. Now they're staring at fourth down. The Bruins line up to punt it away. Looking for a block. It's Branch. Pretty solid coverage there, and they'll stop him at the 26. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Oh, he drops the football. He had him right down the gut of the field. Instead, it'll be second down. From the shotgun, the inside give. A solid pick up there before the defense is able to make the stop. It's third down, and they have to get it to the 42 to move the sticks. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. The Trojans will line up to punt it away. He ought to be able to use this first punt to pin him deep. And the punt hits at the six, and they can't down it, and it'll be a touchback. UCLA will go back to work on offense. They've hit a bit of a lull here, and they need to get things cranked up with this possession, Jesse. Just haven't had a rhythm these last couple of possessions, but I'll tell you, the best way to get back into one is to run the football. Establish yourselves up front at the line of scrimmage and help keep these third downs manageable. Now, and the best news is your defense at least forced a turn of their own. So now you can go answer with that good stop while this game is still close. Let's just go keep putting more points on the board, and let's see less of the punt. Scanning the field, it's Garbers downfield complete to the right finally run out of bounds but he has this offense rolling with the first down and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go the football had time spins the ball deep nice job by this offense understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play and the Bruins want to crank the tempo quickly out to the tight end. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. As we head to the quarter break, it is USC holding the lead. They came out and jumped on them early in the first. Let's take a break and look at the first quarter stats. Just about ready to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. The pull and throw off the RPO. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Really nice looking pass. When I think back to the history of UCLA quarterbacks, I think about guys carving up defenses in the Rose Bowl in perfect weather conditions with the gorgeous San Gabriel Mountains as a backdrop. And this guy right here, man, he's lighting defenses up this season, throwing it too. And in this game, he seems like he's dialed in. Makes a catch along the sidelines, but he's going to lose yardage. And he just couldn't get started. Goes down behind the line of scrimmage, and they'll lose yardage on the completion. On third and long, he'll have to turn it loose deep. Pass on the way. Oh, it's picked off. Trying to take it back. And they capitalize not only on the pick, but the great return to give the offense tremendous field position. Third in Africa is extremely difficult. When I know it's a passing situation, I get to rush the passer and pin my ears back. I get to put more DBs on the field to drop back and really play pass coverage. You could tell the offense was trying to force it, trying to get that first down, makes the big mistake. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. 
They've jumped on them, executing at a high level and up 14-0, David. This is the exact start you want. The yeah. offense is playing great. Defense has gotten stops. You're in a position now, Palmer, to put the hammer down and get a three-possession lead. I'm really impressed with their physicality on both sides of the ball early in this one. They've been winning in the trenches. So here on offense, keep running the football and show your dominance. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Trying to pick it up on the ground. They thought they could just run it on third and short, but this defense was there to make the stop. And the Trojans send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. Now this offense is back on the field. Trying to find his man on first down. Gets it out fast. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. The Bruins moving quickly to the line. Historically, the Trojans have been the powerhouse in this rivalry, but last season it was UCLA in a blowout. And that is not something USC is accustomed to. They want to own this rivalry. They think they own UCLA. They will have some extra fire behind them today. Yeah, and that UCLA blowout last year really helped the Bruins in recruiting, too. Remember, these two schools, they recruit the same kids here in Los Angeles, in the state of California, and nationally as well. It would be massive if UCLA could beat USC again and make it back-to-back. And that is textbook instructional video out of bounds right around the goal line. Here's the handoff. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. The roar of the crowd trying to fuel this defense to keep them pinned in their own end. Looking to pass. It's Moss. And he got a hand in there and knocks it away incomplete. This is the type of play that can give the offense momentum. Third and short from inside the 20. They'll try to run for it. At the 20, he's got space. Afterburner's coming. And that was a huge run that almost went to the house. The defense kept him from scoring. Well, there's a big run on offense, and guys, I don't think a defender even touched him anywhere near the line of scrimmage. That's how big that hole was. The Trojans with the first and ten. Right back to the well. At the 35, he's got room. Defense needs to regroup as he gets it down to the 26. And that's excellent blocking there on the left side of the line. They were able to get great push, get off the line, create a little bit of crease for that running back. He just created a wall. He had all kinds of room to run. Yeah, I might, I might go back to that one and call that one again. It worked so well. Quarterback on the keeper. Pass the first down marker and still running. And he's brought down after a nice game. And now the offense just said, oh, you don't, you don't think he's going to run it? You're not going to account for him? I'll do that. Great job taking advantage of the numbers. When you're an offense and you have a quarterback that can do this occasionally, it just puts that little bit of doubt in my head and makes me play it a little bit more on defense. They'll give it to the back. And they stop him just short of the goal line. They'll mark it at the one. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Fast motion from the offense. They'll try to get outside. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Trojans. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. 
About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. UCLA, zero. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. Trailing by three touchdowns. If you're going to get back in it, David, the time to start is right now. Got to start now. Defense giving up points on that last possession again. The offense is going to have to score. And Jesse probably score pretty quickly. Yeah, you got to go tempo. You're going to have to try to fit in as many plays as you can throughout the rest of this game. But I think more than that, you got to eliminate the negative plays. No more penalties and no more turnovers. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. Man, the defense, you hold your breath. When this receiver has the football out in space, you have got to make sure you're playing with outstanding pursuit. Nice job there, but as this game goes on, they've got to keep an eye on this guy and make sure they know where he is at all times. He'll pull it on the read. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And the Bruins headed quickly to the line. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Unloads to the right. That is just a sideline credit. Roll, catch, toe drag, everything you want. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown. That was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his production. Really good concept there to get things going and use the tight end early. Yeah, I mean, just such a great job on first down, setting up an easier second down. Understanding I don't always have to push the ball down the field, but see the tight end, make the throw. No, it's not a big game, but makes life really easy on me on second down. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And that stiff arm is a weapon for this runner. He uses it and picks up a first down. Well, the offense is in a really nice rhythm right now. It seems like no matter what they're dialing up, they're getting positive yards. And it just feels so good as a play caller when you know on first down, you can get yards like that turning around and handing it off. Yeah, and on the other side, you're scratching your head going, what the heck can I do here? you got to find something. The defense has got to find a way to create some momentum. Whatever they're doing right now, it's not working. And the quarterback will take a sack back at the 36. And as quarterbacks, you've got to be aware of secondary pressure. You've got to know when these free safeties, they start creeping towards the line of scrimmage, that they might get involved. You've got to have an answer for it, and the QB didn't have one that time. This drive was rolling, and then it got thrown into reverse. Here's a second and 18. To the air, it's Garbers. He's right on target. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. A shot toward the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. Here comes the field goal unit. He'll have to generate power and some accuracy. A 50-yarder from the left hash. Didn't make him sweat at all. It's good. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. Putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. How about that blocking up front and that going for the big play? And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. Really nice job to squirt his way up to the 31-yard line. Lining up to convert third down. 
They'll try to pick it up on the ground. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. And the Trojans will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He will not make a fair catch. Feel the putt and bring it back. And he'll work his way on the return out to the 35-yard line before he stops. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Fires to the big fella. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. The Bruins want to move quickly. I'll tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion. And the shortest throw on the field for the quarterback is finding your biggest target, and that's the tight end. Nice job. And he won't quite get there. But boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first. An array of possibilities here. On third and short, they keep it on the ground here. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. To the air on first down. The short hands. It's Sturdivant. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. On second down, just keeps firing. It's complete to the right. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. And the Bruins come to the line with a new set of downs. Looking downfield, it's Garbers. He makes the grab. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. The defense is backed up as the offense is in the red zone. Let's it fly. It's incomplete. He was shooting for the end zone right there. After the misfire, now on second down. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Caught near the sticks. It's Sturdivant. Gets it inside the five. Down to the four, and it'll be first and goal. There's a timeout call. This offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. They want to throw it. Looking to the end zone. And the pass is incomplete, but it might not matter. Flag is down, and it looked as if the defense was roughing up that receiver. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught. He'll keep it himself. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, UCLA! That's a nice drive, a nice physicality, punching it in with the run game. And here's the thing, I like where this offense is going. Nice job creating some momentum, going into the half, cutting down the lead. This thing could get really exciting. Nice job answering the bell right before the half. The AT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they draw closer. It's 21 to 10. That drive covers 62 yards for the touchdown. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. And the returner runs out of real estate as he goes down. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. They're setting up the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Quick timeout from the timeout. offense to save precious seconds. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Release to the back. Makes the grab. It's O'Neal. And how about that? What the doctor always ordered. An explosive play to the 40. All right, defense. It ain't working. Right? We're stringing together several first downs here. We're going to need to change this up, find something we can disrupt the quarterback and, and mess up this offense a little bit. 
This offense is like running a perfection drill in practice against air, chunk play after chunk play, and here they come again. The offense quickly calls timeout to stop the clock. He'll come out throwing on first down. Pocket starts to collapse. And a little too much adrenaline on that throw never gave his receiver a chance. Running out of time here in the first half, they're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Dropping back, it's Moss. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. And it's third down, but they're going to go ahead and try the field goal and try to get points before the break. And he missed it. No good. After the miss, still an 11-point game, guys. Listen, he's a guy that makes 60 yarders in practice, so they give him that opportunity with his big leg. He misses it. The opponent didn't set up the return, so they're going to get the football back now in pretty good field position. There's still a few ticks left on the clock. They've got a chance to steal some points here late in the half. One more snap coming before halftime. Looking to go up top on first down. Going to take a shot. And it slips through his fingers, incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have held on. On second down, wants to throw it. Going back to the well, another deep ball. The pass falls incomplete, and that's how we'll finish this half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And the story of the half has been that elite corner. We were told he was tough to throw against. He's basically taken away an entire side of the field when he's out there, causing turnovers and getting physical. How often do we say that about lockdown guys? And how this offense schemes against him in this second half will be fun to watch. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. If it's working, why change it? And that running game was working in the first half. I imagine we'll see a lot more of it here in the third quarter. And you just know the offensive line was telling their coordinator, put this on us. Let us continue to go out there, push these guys around. We can put this game on our back and end this thing by running the ball. And this is a manhood question for this defense. Like, as a defensive lineman, and you're pounding the rock, pounding the rock, like, I got to physically rise to this challenge. This defense has to play more inspired and more physical in the second half. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. The Trojans will send out the punt unit. He gets a block. Coverage team able to put a stop to that return at the 42-yard line. The offense set for a first down play. Hold and finds his man on the left. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. The Bruins racing to the line in the hurry up. To the air, it's Garbers. Getting some heat. Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. They tried to go smash mouth on third and short, and it did not work against this defense. And the Bruins will punt it away on fourth down. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen. Across the 45. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. 
The Trojans getting it done through the air, picking up the first down. And they always got one of these. A big arm sucker that can sling the ball down the field. You think about USC, that's what I always think about. Quarterbacks, playmakers, Hollywood, Heismans. From the gun, running back on the move. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Give to the back. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. And that last run leaves him with a third down. Will they keep it on the ground? Looking to throw for it. Got it in the middle. It's Robinson. Offenses gain momentum with third down conversions like that. They've got it at the 25. Really nice job there by the quarterback understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. They'll throw it on first down. Working the middle, it's complete. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. Nice quick throw there. It's so important for quarterbacks to be able to find a rhythm and to be comfortable and confident. You want to just get the ball out quickly, make it an accurate and easy throw. And you can tell that these two guys, they rep that play in practice all the time, and it's now showing up here on the game. The give out of the gun. Picked up maybe a yard. It's down at the 16. This crowd knows when to bring it. Quick catch on third down. They make the stop, but not before he sets them up with a first and goal from the 10. And the Trojans come to the line with a fresh set of downs. He caught it. And he was dying to push his way in there, but he's knocked down at the three. Now on second and goal. To the edge, it's O'Neal. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Trojans! USC stretches out that lead and not too far in the distance. They're starting to imagine the tones of the victory bell. And USC has so much tradition, so much history. But they start every season. Jesse, they want this one. They want to make sure they beat their rival in L.A. Yeah, you could tell, too. Talking to them before this game, they knew how important it was going to be to play well in the second half. They had to have energy. They had to execute. And right now, they're getting ready to chant fight on at the end of this game. And with the extra point, they're on top by 18. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring. Scoring the touchdown. UCLA, 10. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. UCLA will go back to work on offense. It's a draw. Shakes off the defender. Knocked down after picking up five out to the 24. The Bruins in the hurry up. Looking downfield, it's Garbers. Pressure coming. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Now the defense has got it going the other way. Touchdown, Southern Cal. The defense takes matters into their own hands. You know, the defense is all about stopping teams, but when you have a chance to swing momentum, scoop it and score yourself, it is such a huge play. Yeah, you just go over the offense, but like, bro, we don't need you today. We got this. We'll, we'll, we'll score ourselves if we have to. Great job by the defense, doing what they need to do, and then go talk a little trash to the offense. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point splits the uprights, and they're on 35 to 10. The scoop and score. What a lift it can give to the defense. Not content to get the ball. They wanted to do something with it, and they did. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. 
tried to move that pile forward. He maybe gets two. He's down at the 21. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Wide receiver shows motion. Off the play fake. Moves away as he feels pressure. And he has a solid gain on the play before sliding. Here they come, trying to convert a third and short from the 28. To the ground to try to move the chains. Love to see these third down conversions on offense, and they're out to their own 39-yard line. And now on first down, after converting with the run, they'll give it to him again. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. Pulls and throws off the RPO. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. And the Bruins are flying down the field. First down for the offense. They'll leave it with him. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Back to throw. It's Garber. He's got his man. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Pulls and fired complete. Just what they hoped for on third down is they've got a first at the 32. I was starting to think about what they would do if they didn't pick up the first down here, but I guess that's a moot point now. Moot point for sure, and the head coach was probably telling them four down territory, we're going to kick a field goal, whatever the next decision was going to be, and now the OC is like, don't worry about it. New set of downs, nice execution by this offense. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple here. The negative play leaves him with second and 12. He's looking to throw. It's complete. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. Here comes third and short from the 24, and this offense does not want to send out the field goal unit. The Bruins pick up the first down. Defense has to be frustrated. The offense keeps matriculating and matriculating and matriculating the ball down the field. Comes out throwing on first down. He's got it down the middle. They stop him just short of the first down, but it will be second and inches coming up. Well, they execute the in route. And how about the arm strength by the QB? That was an absolute bullet on that completion. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Grab near the sticks. It's Sturdivant. That throw and catch gets them down to the six, and the defense is running out of answers. Well, it's a nice job by the defender. They're closing the gap with the wide receiver. They're going to complete the hitch pass, but he's able to run right up on him, get him to the ground for a minimal gain. The offense knocking on the door, first and goal. What a day it's been on the ground for these two guys, and they just seem to get stronger as the game goes along as we take a look at the numbers. One more quarter to play, and it might be unlikely, but hey, it's college football. Comebacks happen. To the air, it's Garbers. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? And he'll step into the end zone. Touchdown, Bruins! This is like having an extra running back in your backfield. This quarterback is magic. When he decides to keep the football, he can make people look absolutely silly. He shows you on that play. After the extra point, they trail 35-17. 
They held the ball for 15 plays on that touchdown drive. And he got into the house from the six to finish it. From inside the 10, here he comes. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. Using his legs, it's O'Neal. That'll be a gain of five out to the 27. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. The give to the back. Defense not budging. He's still able to get two to the 29. You got to think they'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. To the ground to try to pick up the first. Tough sliding in there. Picks up a couple, but still needs two more on fourth down. The Trojans decide to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Slips through the line. Oh, what a move! Very little will make a crowd hold its breath like a punt return, and he brought them to their feet on that one. He's looking to throw it. Intercepted. Just a small return, but a big play as they have it now at the 45. And as a defensive lineman late in the game, man, when you know it's passed, you're pinning your ears back, trying to get to the quarterback, and DBs are trying to do this. Pad them stats, get the INT. Nice job by this D. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And, David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. Oh, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. And he found all kinds of room and got it down to the 28. This guy's been special today. Coming into this one, they thought they had an opportunity really to get him going, running the football, and he has delivered. You've seen the speed, the vision, his ability to break tackles. Well over 100 rushing yards in this game, and that's why they have a nice lead here late. Now on first down from the 28. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Time running out, and he goes down at the 34. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, the offense you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushes, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. Now the offense has to overcome the negative play after the defense comes up with a sack. Takes a handoff. It's O'Neal. He rumbles ahead for six inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Defense getting stingier in their own end of the field. It's third and long from the 28. Complete to the right. He found his man and zipped it in there, and they've got a first down in the red zone at the 11. And the Trojans are rolling down the field. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Pulled down after picking up five to the six-yard line. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. The give to the back. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. So, so close to cashing it in for this offense. They'll try to blast their way in. Touchdown, USC! And the stomping has commenced. They've extended this lead, guys, but sometimes in a rivalry game, you get down and you fight back that much harder. Man, you've seen crazy comebacks and crazy swings of momentum in rivalry games. You just need that first thing to break your way, Palmer. And I think it really comes down to their key playmakers, David. They can come back, but these guys need to take ownership. Now's the time. In this type of game, they have got to step up and start making plays. And the extra point was good. That touchdown drive covered 61 yards. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. UCLA will...
will go back to work on offense. Well, the good news about this drive, Jesse, it can't go worse than last time through a pick on the first play. No, it certainly can't. I think one good way, David, to help your quarterback turn the page is just find him an easy completion here and let him get back into it. Yeah, or find him an easy handoff. Just hand the football off, maybe get the ground game going, maybe jumpstart this offense a little bit. Going to take a shot. He caught it. And he was pushing for that goal line, but the D stopped him at the two. I love it. The offense being aggressive. They're taking a shot. Good job by the QB getting a lot of air under that ball. And how about the receiver and his ability to track it? And the Bruins are threatening on first and goal. Dropping back, it's Garbers. And it's caught! Touchdown, UCLA! I don't know exactly what the defensive coverage was, but it certainly wasn't part of the plan to leave him that wide open. Well, I don't, I don't think they know what their defensive coverage was either. How do you leave that big guy open down here in the red zone? You know the quarterback loves the big tight ends in this area. Really poor job by the defense. On to attempt the try. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And it was finished off with a two-yard touchdown toss. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. From the gun, the running back looking for room. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. They'll run it behind the big guys on the left. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. The give to the tailback. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. The Trojans will try to pin them back with the punt. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. Offense getting set for first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Fires to the wideout. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Looking to throw. It's Garbers. Grabs it in the middle. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. The Bruins are in the hurry up. He's going to look for a man on third and short. Makes the grab down the middle. Hit the afterburners, kid. Touchdown, Bruins! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. And unbelievable timing with the quarterback and wide receiver. Get it to him in his hands, right on his frame, where he can run after the catch and do some serious damage. And that's why he's so dangerous, because of that ability after the catch. For these DBs in this game, you've got to tackle the reception, because if you don't get him down, he's taking it to the house. He'll try to tack on one more. Splits those uprights right in half. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the scoring play coming on a 56-yard touchdown pass. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. He's going to pass. Pulls it in. It's Copeland. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. 
They'll run play action. He's got it. He gets those chains moving, gets it out to the 42-yard line. Move the chains with that completion now on first down. I don't know if they're trying to get this guy Heisman consideration, but the fact that they're still throwing the ball at this point of the game with a lead like they have is surprising, I gotta be honest. And the Trojans getting set on first and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. They want this clock to move. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Clock continues to run and they'll be happy to wind it all the way down before they snap it. Looking for a crease, it's O'Neal. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. It's third down now. They ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. We reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. Trying the left side. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. The Trojans will punt this one away. And that is an excellent punt as it lands out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. This offense starts deep in a hole. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Got it on the run. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. Going up top on first down. He's taking a deep shot. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. They'll throw again after the incompletion. Makes his connection. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pick up on that one. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. The aerial assault continues. Gets open down the middle. And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. Clock is still running and they have to get everybody lined up. Wants to throw, it's Garbers. Fires to the middle. Right through his hands, you just have to make that catch and it'll be third down. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. Trying to get to him. That quarterback was doing his best. Houdini escaping in the backfield, but the defense finally gets to him. Here we are late in the game, and this secondary, they are still covering. They forced the QB to hold on to it, and then he bailed out, trying to buy himself more time. And because he couldn't get rid of the football so quickly early, that allowed the pass rush to get to him. On fourth down, they'll throw for it. Just a short pass to the tight end. Will not get there. A fourth down stop. So with the late lead, they're ready to just drain the clock in victory formation. 